Will John Cena be able to survive the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view and go on to headline WrestleMania 33 as the WWE Champion? Will John Cena be able to keep his championship and main event WrestleMania with Randy Orton? We will find out this Sunday, or will we get a new WWE Champion? Should be very interesting inside that Elimination Chamber contest. Welcome everybody to your Elimination Chamber preview and predictions. The Elimination Chamber is this Sunday, and it is the first mega stop on the road to WrestleMania. This card is a really good, decent card. WWE has done a good job putting this card together, especially for it being kind of rushed, you know, because this this SmackDown pay-per-view was rushed some. The Royal Rumble was only two weeks ago, and we're already getting one again. However, pretty decent card when I'm looking what they have for us. The WWE Championship on the line. John Cena defends against Bray Wyatt, Baron Corbin, Dean Ambrose, The Miz, and the phenomenal AJ Styles. Can't wait to see who walks out the champion. I'm going with Bray Wyatt. It just, it just, it just seems to make sense. Bray Wyatt winning. Bray Wyatt capturing his first piece of singles championship gold. The rivalry within the Wyatt family on SmackDown. The two brothers, Luke Harper and Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt. Randy Orton being the w, uh, WE main event headliner for WrestleMania. You know, can just see it now. Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton, WWE Championship. You can see that where that's going. The crumbling of the Wyatt family. Stick the WWE Championship in the middle of that. Would be awesome to see. One of the main reasons why fans continue to stick around for SmackDown Live. As far as the Wyatt family is concerned... This Sunday on pay-per-view, Luke Harper will face Randy Orton one-on-one. -on -one. These two guys have been really battling it out, not liking each other whatsoever. Luke Harper hasn't trusted Randy Orton on TV for a while. You can just see it within the expression on his face. You know, Bray Wyatt's trying to be the mediator. Finally, they all had enough. Bray Wyatt had enough. Sided with Randy Orton and gave Luke Harper a sister, Abigail. And then it all went down from there because Luke Harper, this past Tuesday on SmackDown, clotheslined Bray Wyatt's head right off. And he went to the outside. Needless to say, Randy Orton really... Kind of playing mind games, you know, in the back of his head. This is all Randy Orton's game. And the destruction of the White family is coming. And Luke Harper and Randy Orton's going butt heads this Sunday. My money is what's going with Randy Orton. Can't see Randy Orton walking out of the Royal Rumble a winner and then going into the Elimination Chamber of pay per view two weeks later. And losing to Luke Harper. So, Randy Orton picks up the victory this Sunday at the Elimination Chamber. SmackDown Women's Championships on the line. Alexa Bliss versus Naomi. This should be a pretty interesting contest to see what WWE does with this. For a simple reason that Naomi aptly put it that her hometown is in uh, Orlando. So, does WWE want to give her the rub right now and let her walk into uh, WrestleMania as the SmackDown Women's Champion? Or, or, 
are they just using that as you know something for us to kind of look forward to Naomi winning the championship at Mania have a big moment there whatever the case Naomi's been picking up the victory over the last couple of weeks over Alexa Bliss and Alexa Bliss I honestly think will retain the SmackDown Women's Championship this Sunday at Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. SmackDown Tag Team Championships on the line in a turmoil matchup. This match, not too much to talk about here because it's kind of like they need some filler time. So they took all their tag teams and they're throwing them all in a matchup. Really don't like it when SmackDown, when WWE, I shouldn't say SmackDown, when WWE does this because you don't get any of your tag teams over when you do this. I don't care if you're sticking them all on TV. Regular tag team matches when you can showcase, you know, one to two, one or two tag teams at a time and you can give them all the, the time period. That gets your tag teams over. When it's a match like this and you're having to tag in and out and all that junk, no, you're not getting as much time. And this is going to uh, pretty much be a cakewalk for American Alpha because American Alpha will win this contest and retain their tag team championship. Becky Lynch versus Mickey James. This is a very interesting matchup. Mickey James has been a thorn in the side of Becky Lynch over the past, well, ever since she debuted, reemerged on to the WWE roster. You know, Mickey James, she she was La Luchadora, cost Becky Lynch championship matches against uh, against Alexa Bliss. Now Mickey James you know, is doing great might work, having some great, you know, interesting, you know, uh, segments with Becky Lynch, really helping her out that way. Can't wait to see, can't wait to see what she does in the squared circle this Sunday at Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Honestly, I can see Mickey James going over here and still giving Becky Lynch that kind of underdog work her way up to try to get over, you know, Mickey James and some of the other top hills because that's what WWE's been doing with Becky. So I can see that them going in that direction. Apollo Crews and Kalisto versus Dolph Ziggler. Now, two on one handicap matchup. This should be a pretty good contest. I really like what they've been doing with Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler's, you know, overall heel persona since he got rid of that baby face junk has been so much better. You know, him being aggressive and just absolutely wiping out Apollo Crews and Kalisto has been a has been extraordinary for his career and. They need to keep going down this road. Will he pick up this victory? Probably not because Dom Sigler never wins. So, you know, WWE will probably have Apollo Crews and Kalisto win. I want Dom Sigler to win because he needs to win. He needs some wins under his belt. I'm sick of all these losses that he keeps on getting. If they're going to change his character and make him aggressive and all this stuff, then you need to have him pick up victories. But, you know, Apollo Crews and Kalisto will probably win, and Dolph Ziggler will probably beat him up, you know, and that kind of stuff. So, we'll see what happens this Sunday. And that's SmackDown pay-per-view elimination chamber this Sunday live. Can't wait to see what happens. Let me know what you all are thinking in the comments below. If you like the video, subscribe. Twitter at 2007Webby. Facebook at 2007Webby. Sunday night, tune in for my Elimination Chamber pay-per-view review. Until I see you again, 
This is Webby, and I will catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.